Shrink pots make handy storage containers for all sorts of things and they're relatively easy to make. So let's see how I made these two. The first step of hollowing out the pot is to bore a series of holes through it with a brace and bit. Then the holes are joined together using a gouge. And if we use an in-channel gouge as I'm using here, you'll find it an awful lot easier. I continue until the whole centre has been removed and then I go about trying to make an even wall thickness from the outside of the pot. You could spend a long time perfecting the inside of your pot, but for me a little bit of pairing just makes it smooth enough. The next stage is to work on where the base is going to go. And to do that I take a mortise gauge and scribe around a pair of lines parallel up from the bottom of the pot. Perhaps about half, a, half an inch up. Then I make a groove between the two mortise marks using a v-chisel and a knife. You can get a specialist tool for doing this, 
but unless you're making a lot of pots, it's really not worth it. The base sits loosely in the groove and as the pot shrinks the base will tighten up. If you're in a real hurry you could use a large sawtooth force a bit to drill the hole, use a router bit to cut a groove and here I'm using a dovetail bit. And you could even cut out the base on the bandsaw. Whichever way you choose to do it, once the, uh, the wood's dried out, then the bases will be nice and firmly held within their grooves and your pots are finished. If you don't like the full bark effect, you can always take it off or even cut patterns in it. Cheerio!